Oh, hey there, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to a beautiful game called the Hydro Nerd. Yeah, it's me, I'm Blitz the Hydro Nerd. But we made this thing last time. You see that, the big shiny Onyx necklace. Oh, I just fell in the water. Now my boots are all wet, even though I don't have legs, which is weird. Anyway, we have something exciting ahead of us today because instead of making money grinding and grinding and grinding and digging and mining and trying to find a bed to sleep at night, we're gonna make money doing fishing and it's gonna be fantastic. Aw, oh, oh, oh. Are we just driving? Are we are we playing spider truck right now, Mr. Truck? Everything okay with you? Did I actually land this without going like into orbit? I think kind of. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, def definitely almost went into orbit. <laughs> but yes, my friends, we are gonna go fishing. Where where's the new fishing shack? I think the new fishing shack's right over here somewhere. Where am I going? Hot dang, I don't have legs today. Oh yes, the new fishing shack. Look at that, there's like a super rare, weird looking fishing pole. And if I catch this fish, then I can trade it in and I get that fishing pole. Thankfully the fishing poles are $13. Wait, what, how much are they? I don't know. Do I have enough money? Aw, oh, balls. So I'm just gonna yeet myself across the mountain, maybe, and then maybe just do what I do best. Uh, in, in crashing jeeps. There we go. <laughs> I love how this thing is not like this weird ATV sort of deal. And then we'll magically stop the bus. We'll slap in a different fishing rod down here. Can just buy it already. And then throw it down and then I'll click on the button. Aw, oh, why do I have no money anywhere? Do I have money over here? I don't. Did somebody rob me in a single player game? Intern came in and like stole everything? Seriously, where's the money at? Hello, money. Oh yeah, there's a cool $131,000. So we'll flap that right in the hole. We'll press the butt. Press the stupid butt. Why are you not butt pressing properly? In the hole. And press the button. Thank you. Finally, I got a brand new fishing rod, even though I probably have some more, but I lost. Oh, there it is right there. That sucks. So I need to catch one of those weird fish. I might as well stand right here and throw the bobber over. Wait until I catch a fish. Oh, got one. Yay, a minnow worth $5. And it makes me wonder if these fish are only caught here and I have to find the proper location to catch that red fish. Because I'm only catching blue fish. So I might as well try to enjoy myself up over here. I actually made it up that cliff. Oh, I'm so good at this game. And get out my trusty, rusty fishing rod to go find something in the mountain stream. This looks fun. Aw, I went swimming. Are you a red fish? Nope, you're gray. I don't even care anymore. I have 131,000. I'm not selling that thing for five. How about in the big wide ocean? Nope, that one's gray too. Is it just a rare chance? It better not be a just a rare chance. So I'm just gonna sit here on the dock right outside of this thing and fish for hours until I catch the red one. Oh, did you see the size of that chonker? <laughs> it's not a red one, but it's a chonker. Ho, oh, hey, ho, oh, hey, ho, oh, hey, I caught one. Hey, go away. I dro I did it. I only had to fetch that many up, and I caught this thing, and now I can just go doink. And if I press the button, oh, I get a new fishing rod. That's exciting. The wonky fishing rod. Rank two pull. It's slightly wonky, but probably step up from the previous pull. Okay, now what do I have to catch? What is that? Huh. I have no idea what that is, but it kind of looks like my merch. Just kidding. But you can get merch anyway going to blitztopia.store. That'd be a good idea. It's some really cool shirts there and some other fun things. Is that a shark? Can I catch a shark? I totally want to catch a shark. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I wonder how far I can go. I gotta try this. Like just running as far away. Oh, oh, it didn't, it didn't work. Did you hear that oaf I did in there? It's like the Midwestern like accent right there. It's like, hello, yes, I'm from Minnesota. I said, oh, oh man, oh, there's another chonker. It's a big old walleye there, don't you know? Oh, there's another one. Hey. That's the little thing I'm supposed to be catching. It was like a little bell. Did you hear it? Oh, <laughs> oh, dang. The fish are getting bigger in here. All right, the puffer fish, a normal fish, but with more puff. Genius. Okay, we throw that in and we go boink. Oh, now we get to catch a crab. Uh-huh, oh, Slippy Grip. That was my nickname in high school. Rank three pull looks like it's been dropped a few times, much like myself as a child. On my head, right on the noggin. Okay, we got another one of those. That's not the one I wanted, but I heard the noise and I got excited. Now you might be saying to yourself, you're saying, Blitz, why are you fishing? Why are you trying to unlock these pulls? It's the obvious answer. To make as much money as possible. Like, I want to be an ultra, ultra jubillionaire, like Elon Musk or something, where I can make my own spaceships to fly my own cars to Mars for some dumb reason. Oh, there's a boot. I guess I could fly that to Mars. <laughs> why is there a boot? Like, the old meme of 
fishing and catching a boot. Actually, the weirdest thing I ever caught fishing one time was a fence post. Like a metal fence post that was in the water in the river, and I brought it in. Oh, there's this S word fish. That's kind of cool. Hacha on guard. <laughs> we can make swords in the game. We can catch swordfish in the game. That's a tiny little one. I'm gonna be so excited. I'm gonna tell my mom, and she's gonna be like, oh, that's so sweet, honey. You caught a boat in the water. No, we're not gonna use old wonky over here. We're gonna use slippy grip. There we go. I also don't really understand the difference in these fishing poles. It's like, what, 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 do they catch fish better? Because I'm catching a fish every cast the way it is. Oh, <laughs> maybe it is catching bigger fish. Hey, that's a crab. I just got one. <laughs> that was uneventful. And it was like 15 minutes. I'm just like going on my phone. Oh yes, we got an S word already too. We don't even care about whatever pole this is. The placeholder? A bit, a bit slight. I don't even know what that means. But we don't care because we already got an S word fish. A doink. And now, oh, that one looks cool. What is this one? Emerald fishing pole. Rank five. It catches fish a little bit better than the last rod you had. I didn't even have that one. I didn't even care about it. Now, I could be like other channels and use a spawning in mod to like spawn in a bunch of things and pretend like I did it naturally in the game. But you won't find Blitz cheating like that. Not in Hydroneer, anyway. I mean, plenty of other games like to cheat in, but this one's more fun if you actually do it yourself. Ooh, that was a chonker. What is that? Is that what I'm supposed to catch? That is what I'm supposed to catch. A monkfish. Huh. All right. Straight from the fish monastery. Oh, yeah, monk. It's a monkfish. I get it. Hey, oh, there's a shark. I get to catch a shark. Okay, what's this now? The uh, Real Dream, rank six, ain't she a dream? I'm guessing this goes up to 10. I wonder if one of these is gonna make me turn in a boot. Oh, are you kidding me? I caught a shark on my first cast. How lucky am I? And doink. Oh, now a lobster. Why is a lobster more important than a shark? The Night Rod must be hard to, what? Might be hard to find where you left it at night. I don't get it. Haha, <laughs> funny joke, developer. You're hilarious. Whoa. Is that what I'm supposed to catch? What was that? I gotta catch a lobster. I have no idea what that is. It's some other type of fish. Maybe it's worth more money. Hey, there's the lobster. I have so many stupid fishing poles now. And I thought the game crashed there for a second. We'll just throw these over here. And we'll grab the lobster boy. And we'll take it to Red Lobster, where we'll put it down in the aquarium. And we'll place it and it just magically disappeared. But now I have the master fishing rod, rank eight. It's not a it's not a master, because there's better things. Is it the master sword like the best there is? And we locked out. I didn't even check. This one wants another thing. So slap that in the hole and doink. Got another one? And we need another puffer fish. Okay. What's this say? The wonky. Wait, what? Oh, it's just loop now. The master fishing pole's the best one. There is. This is the best one. Obviously, the rank 8. But it didn't make sense because rank 8 is usually not top. It'd be 10. Well, now I got the best one. I can start making the real money by turning these things into money. It didn't make any sense. I'm going to go with it, though. Kind of wish it was faster. Thankfully, I can buy one of these pans for $12. And then we'll run this way over here. Also, it's nighttime. I should stop that. Nobody wants to watch YouTube videos that are dark thanks to YouTube's terrible compression that breaks every dark video to make it even darker. So the objective is to throw all of these fish into my new bucket, into my live well. Can you go in there, fish? Why are you too chunk and big? He's a chunky boy. Oh, he's in there. Good boy. Who's that good fish? Stay. No. So annoying when they do this. Look at my little teeny tiny shark. Isn't it adorable? I wish it was more like that shark because that one's so much cooler. But I'll slap that on the ground here. All right. I got my bucket of fish. I want to see how much this is worth. I don't think I can sell it right here. Oh, $883. But I've heard if you cook these fish, they can be worth big stumps. Thankfully, I know the perfect location to catch a bunch of fish. Just down in, please land, please. No, stupid Jeep. Will you get on the ground? I'm trying to play a game here, man. Thank you. <laughs> Just gotta, gotta talk to it nicely and then it'll, it'll do everything properly for you. I also don't know why I'm driving across here. Can I just go to the unstuck button? There we go. We can back down into my cave of secrets. I don't even know why I came down here. What I really need is just one of these furnaces. And also, you guys were yelling me at me in the last videos. You're like, Blitz, add filters on it. Everything will break less. 
I have filters. I have a ton of filters. Everything's filtered and filtered and filtered. They just like to break, and I like to complain. This makes me really want a secret area in this game that we could, like, cook and go fishing at the same time. All right, we got to do this, like, the old big brain way here. We're going to take this chonkin' fish up here to the fish chonkin' thing and say it is worth $31. Then I'm going to take the fish back here and throw it into the furnace and wait until it cooks. I said throw it in the furnace and wait until... I told you to go in the furnace. Why is nothing listening to me today? There. And then we wait until it cooks. It, we could burn it. I mean, that'd be fun and stuff, but I, I don't know actually how to make can it. Is it cooking? I think it's cooking. Is it changing color? It's totally changing color. How do I? Ah! I think I burnt it. <laughs> and now it is worth a dollar. Not a dollar. Get back. You know what? I'll just throw in the well. Go back. Be free. So the next question is, can I just put the whole bucket of fish in the furnace at the same time and cook them all at once? And if the answer is yes, then I'm going to be happy with myself because this is a boring process. And I just want to make lots of money. Game, I don't think you understand how this works. It's a bucket. It's made out of tin. It's conductive. The fire should go through it. Kind of like using a pan. But unfortunately, you're not smart enough to know. I have to dump you in manually. Uh -huh. And then I wait until they stop glitching out. And as soon as they look like they're done, I'm going to pull away their support. Are they done? They're done. They're done. Aha! Nice. Now we just have fish everywhere. That was stupid. No, 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 no. Where are you going? I didn't call you stupid. I called the what happened stupid. Ah, these things are so temperamental sometimes. So this bucket is worth $304 now cooked. Interesting. And this delicious bass is $22. And if we cook it properly without burning the beans out of it, it sells for $23. <laughs> Literally a dollar more. Maybe I didn't cook it long enough. Oh yeah, I totally didn't cook it long enough. It's totally worth $24 now. That's great. I can't even cook this fish. It's too chunk and big. There we go. Let it cook all night. And then fresh fish for breakfast. Can you get in the bucket, please? Just lay down. Just, you're a fish. You're dead. You're not flopping around. Just sit in the bucket. Thank you. Now you two, stay. Just stay. Stay. Will you please stay? You're, please just stay in the bucket. No, no, don't fall. Don't, don't. Ah, oh, you're annoying. So for another $108, I just made $436 fishing. I think I much prefer my other fishing method. And no, it's not the one where I just roll my truck off a mountain. It's the one where I grab my super secret, amazing, awesome fishing rod of science and technology and then just fish directly inside the place. There's just something satisfying about catching fish and throwing it right into the stand. So we can go ahead and fish all night to get a good collection of garbage. And then we have all of these extra things that I magically caught. I wanted to see how much, like, a regular shark was. Oh, $183. That's kind of fun. And a boot is still worth nothing. The gigantic crab. $103. Ow, don't run away, little fella. Come back here. Can I sell the fishing poles? Nope, they're worthless. Uh-huh. Tell me again. Tell me again, game, how much you like me. I was just trying to sell some fish to the fish store. Where am I? Oh, I'm right by the fish store. That's nice. What happens if I sell a boot? Can I put a boot in here? I want to put a boot in there. And huh? yo, oh, you're, he's got a case of the dumbs again. Huh. Well, my friends, I have one more idea. That's only $26,000 for a little mini nuke. What happens if I try to give the fishing pole place a nuke? Do you want to, do you want a pet nuke? Just a, a nice little boy in there? Nice little fella? No, that, that doesn't work. But I'm sure somebody's going to be like, Hey, Blitz, I found this infinite money glitch that you should have used to make this video because someone else did it in their video, and you didn't do it because you're a dummy. And then everyone will be like, Yay, Blitz is a dummy, because he can't figure out even how to drop a nuke in the middle of the shop because it's not a place he can build, and I can't just manually make that go. So... At least I caught a really big shark. I never pretend that was the one I caught. So thanks for watching. <laughs> Keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd also like to thank all of the channel members and Patreon supporters, including Alan H, Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Ben, Dickie J, Teddy Epius, Desby, Eagle Arc, Maxer, Whip It Good, Baron Fox, Zarnoff, Deegan, Jason M, Rayo, Splatter Sacks, Iffy Sphere, Joe B, Obi John Kenobi, Fury Arrow, and Doug Rules 2.0.